Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the Java file generation and NCDL file generation in Ultimate Designer. So for that, we will use two methods. The first one is the uh, the first one is the through output job file, and the second method method is uh, by fabrication output option. So let's start. Just open the Ultimate Designer. So this is the project. For that, we need to generate the Java file and NCDL files. So the first first method we will follow that is the output file uh, through output file. So what we'll do? We'll just go to the file, new, and output job file. Just click on output job file. So it will automatic added a particular job file. The window will pop up like this. So here what we need to do? We need to just go to the fabrication output option. Just follow my cursor. Click over here. There is the option which is Java file. And select your project. So in my case, uh, the PCB doc file is IMU uh, revision F. Just click on that. So we have successfully added our Java file. Now what we need to do? We need to add a NCDL file. So just go to the NCDL files option and click on the PCB doc of whatever the project you, you want to generate NCDL file. Right. So we have successfully added two files. Now what we need to do? We need to just add a new folder structure. We have added a new folder like this. Now we need to just click over here. Just follow my cursor, both of the files. But before that, what we need to do? We need to just customize, configure these files, uh, Java file and NCD files. So just what we need to do? You need to just right click over Java file. There is an option which is configure. Just go click on that configure file. So in my case, I will choose always a millimeter uh, unit. And the resolution is 4 is to 4, which is the highest resolution. So it may be different in your case. Just uh, you know, it depends on the manufacturer by manufacturer, right? What like what resolution they'll prefer. So in my case, it is 4 is to 4. Now layers. Now what we need to do? We need to just select the layers which we need to manufacture, right? So I have uh, wrote down the definition of the layers. GTO is the top overlay. And uh, GTP is the top top paste solder paste, and GTS is the top solder mask. GTL is top layer. So in my case, uh, the PCB is four layer PCB. So there is a two middle layer also, middle layer one and middle layer two. Bottom layer, bottom solder mask, bottom paste, and bottom overlay. That's it. So we need to just uh, uh, generate these files. Just go to the item designer and click over the plot section gto gps top solder top layer middle layer 1 2 bottom layer bottom solder bottom paste bottom overlay that's it so these are the minimum number of files we need to provide to the manufacturer for uh, pcb uh, designing right so we have selected all the file whatever we needed now uh, just go to the other option so ju just uh, keep them uh, uh, whatever the default value are. So we don't need to change those value. Just uh, select the plots. Uh, these are the minimum layers we required and click OK. Now we need to configure the NCDL file. So these are just uh, uh, two changes. The first one is the unit change. The resolution is 4 is to 4 in my case. In your case, it may be different. And I need to generate an NCDL file for plated and non-plated uh, holes uh, separately, right? Then OK. Now what we need to do? We need to just click over there. Follow my cursor. Yeah. And there is an option which is generate content. Just click over there. So here, uh, the item designer is successfully generated the output files. Yeah. So just go to the directory where you uh, save your project. In my case, uh, yeah. So there is an output file. These are the Java file we have created, and these are the NCDL files. Now, the next is uh, we need to just uh, uh, compile these file uh, in a, uh, we need to just zip uh, Java file and NCDL file and uh, send it to the manufacturer. Okay, so we have discussed about uh, the first method, which is uh, the generation of uh, Java file and NCDL file through output job file. Now we will discuss about the fabrication output option, the method two. Just go to the item designer, 
So this is the project. Now what we need to do? We need to just go to the file. There is an option which is fabrication output, and select. The, just click on the Gerber file. So we directly just uh, move to, move to the uh, configuration uh, folder. So here we need to just uh, select as same as uh, we have selected in the first method. In case of layers, just deselect this uh, and uh, this mechanical layer. Yeah. So it is automatically just selected the whatever the layers are used on. But what are the minimum layers we required? We only select those layer. Okay. And uh, we just no, don't need to change anything. Just leave any, uh, everything as default. Just click on OK. So just it started the uh, Gerber file generation separately, right? Yeah. So we have successfully generated a Gerber file. Now what we'll do? We'll just go to the file. Sorry. Just uh, move to the PCB doc uh, file again. Go to the file, fabrication output, and there is an option which is NCDL file. Click on that. Yeah. Just change the resolution as whatever you want and uh, leave the setting uh, as default and uh, what I need uh, in my case like uh, I always uh, generate and plated and non plated holes separately right so just click on that okay okay yeah so we have successfully generated the NC holes files also now just go to the folder where you have saved your project yeah so these are the Gerber file and these are the NCDL files Right. Okay. Thank you so much.